I met Ezekiel Young from Salt Lake City about two years ago. And he told me he was single, and we uh, hit it off right away. So we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home, I'd mix him a drink, we'd have dinner. Then I found out, single my ass. Not only was he married, well, he had six wives. One of them Mormons, you know. So that night when he came home, I mixed him his drink as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. He had it coming. Now I'm standing in the kitchen, carving up the chicken for dinner. And in storms, my husband Wilbur in a jealous rage. You've been screwing the milkman, he said. And he kept saying, you've been screwing the milkman. Then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. Ten years in there. I loved Alvin Lipschitz. He was a real artistic guy, sensitive, a painter, but he was always trying to find himself. He'd go out every night looking for himself, and on the way he found Ruth, Gladys, Rosemary, and Irving. I guess you can say we broke up because of artistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him dead. The dirty bum, bum, bum. My sister Veronica and I did this double act, and my husband Charlie traveled around with us. For the last number in our act, we did these 20 acrobatic tricks in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Splits, spread eagles, flip flops, backflips, one right after the other. Well, this one night we were in Cicero, the three of us, and we were in this hotel room boozing and having a few laughs, and we ran out of ice. So I went out to get some. I come back, open the door. There's Veronica and Charlie. Doing number 17, the spread eagle. Well, I was in such a state of shock, I completely blacked out. I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. They had it coming! They had it coming! They had it coming! They had it coming! I met Ezekiel Young from Salt Lake City about two years ago. And he told me he was single, and we uh, hit it off right away. So we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home, I'd mix him a drink, we'd have dinner. Then I found out, single my ass. Not only was he married, well, he had six wives. One of them Mormons, you know. So that night when he came home, I mixed him his drink as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. He had it coming. Now I'm standing in the kitchen, carving up a chicken for dinner, minding my own business, and in storms my husband Wilbur in a jealous rage. You've been screwing the milkman, sir. And he kept saying, you've been screwing the milkman. And he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times.